Uh, my name is Reed, and I graduated from Full Stack in September of 2016. Uh, currently, I am a Full Stack engineer at a small startup in Massachusetts called Machine Metrics. Because I already lived in New York and had a job here, um, Full Stack was the obvious one for me. I did want to learn JavaScript. Um, I, I liked the, the focus on JavaScript because I think it's a better idea to go deeper into one thing than you know, spread yourself thin over a bunch. So uh, I came into Full Stack with the idea of starting a business with my sister and uh, we were working on that. I, I wanted to work on it while I was at Full Stack, but Full Stack's pretty time intensive. So um, at the end they offered me a position in the fellowship and I thought what a great way to continue learning, get some money and work on my project on the side. Uh, when I was a fellow, I had to learn Mongo and React and Redux like on the job. Um, so that was fun. I, I feel like I got two schools for the price of one. I learned Angular and React. That was awesome. So, I mean, there's uh, some of our stack includes C++, and I'll look at that code, um, but I, I don't know C++ yet. I'll, I figure I'll pick it up over time. Um, but we do use full stack JavaScript for like a huge portion of the app. The other new dev, the, the guy who they hired like a week before me, um, he was not a bootcamp grad, he was a CS grad, didn't know JavaScript, he learned on the job. So I don't think the language matters at all, as long as you can code or you have the ability to learn to code. But it's a lot easier to learn another language after you've learned one. What really attracted me to machine metrics was basically it boiled down to three things. The first is that the leadership there had a real track record of success. So they had sold previously sold software company. So I mean, there you go. Um, the second thing was that there was a lot of opportunity for personal development as an engineer, which I wanted, right? If I ever want to start my own business, I want to know that I like wasn't siloed into just one little operation. You know, I had like a breadth of knowledge of how engineers do work. And so this is a pretty diverse team working with diverse technologies. I thought like the room for growth was huge. Uh, additionally, they put a lot of like responsibility on me, but also kind of they they let me fail. So so my first week on the job, I broke the app, but my second week on the job, I fixed it. And in the end, of the, at the end of the day, like my contributions two weeks in were just so much more than I, I expected to still be getting spun up and trained. I've worked in huge organizations. I worked before I was working in finance at American Express. Before that, I worked for the NSA, which is like, that's the man, right? Um, but after I got those experiences out of the way, I was like, all right, I'm fed up with this. Now I'm gonna do something where I have freedom. Um, it's kind of like, I wanted skin in the game. So equity is attractive to me. Um, and having that sort of like flexibility at work where no one's, there's no getting bogged down with process. It's you either perform or you don't. And I, I like that. I like risk and I like high stakes. <laughs> the, the learning is of course not over on graduation day. The learning's not over after you get your job. Like, if you're not learning, I feel like, get a new job.